The problem with the adult merry-go-round was they wouldn't turn it off in between takes, so they would be giving us notes and we'd still be walking, and so it got really exhausting. <laughs> hey, I'm Ryan Hurd, and this is the hit story of my song, Chasing After You, with my wife, Maren Morris. Cause I love chasing after you. I think this song, I would describe it as first and foremost having a very iconic hit melody. It's an easy song to sing. The first time you hear that intro, you're already hooked. When I heard it for the first time, uh, that's how I felt. So it's very cool to get to share that with other people. This is a song that I didn't write and Marin didn't write. It actually was written by a guy named Jerry Flowers and Brinley Addington, and uh, it was already on hold for somebody else. Eventually, it was open for somebody like me to record, and I jumped all over it, and that's the song that you hear and know now. If there was gonna be like, a first moment that we did a song or something together creatively that we wanted it to be this, we just loved the melodies and, and the message, and. It reminds us of when we were first getting together. The song was not originally a duet. It was something that we added and, and, and we didn't know if Mary was gonna sing the second verse or if we were gonna do like a bridge with her singing it. But I love the way that the arrangement turned out. It ends up just being so perfect for two people to sing to each other. I love recording with Marin. We did our vocals at separate times. I, I sort of got the initial bones of the song and sang a, what I thought was sort of a demo vocal over it. And um, we ended up keeping all of that, which was really cool. And then she had to do her vocals in our basement. It was very cool to have it grow from just a little corner of your house into something this big. The song from the demo to when it became the recording that you know. I mean, it's got all of the same pieces that make it special. Jerry Flowers writing that guitar part was really the, the catalyst for it being a special song. You come over when your wine's all gone. Always catch me when I'm not that strong. That first line, you come over when your wine's all gone, it sets the scene so perfectly. And I do think that first line just puts you in a special place. The whole video, uh, we knew it was special when we were making it. It was an early morning and it was very cool to get an opportunity to work with TK McKamey. And we shot it at the Hermitage Hotel downtown in downtown Nashville. As a concept, it was definitely out there, uh, but Marin and TK did such a good job of bringing it to life. And Marin deserves a lot of credit for working on the concept with TK. And the choreography part on the spinning, walking merry-go-round that we got to do was really fun. And the fact that they made it come to life and, and made it a real thing and made it look the way they did is uh, just a testament to how how great uh, TK and his team are. I think that the coolest part was just the shadow part and that was really fun to get to shoot. Felt like we were in a movie. We just had a blast working together. It's so fun to do stuff like that with Marin because there's no awkwardness or anything as far as it being a romantic video. I mean, every scene was fun, but that one was, that one was definitely easy and exciting. I am always surprised at any success that comes our way. It's amazing to, to hear fans sing it back at shows now. And this song is so much bigger than anything else. It's opened up so many opportunities and given me an opportunity to release a full length album. I'm super excited for everybody to hear that. We wouldn't get to do any other stuff without chasing after you.